down. I got stuff I never had now. I could brag now. Yeah, my niggas, they gon' spaz out. They don't What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. Jimmy Boy, aka Mr. Skills Let's Go. And it's Wednesday. We halfway through the week, you know what I'm saying? So that means it's time for y'all boys to have a story time. I'm gonna try to do one every Wednesday. Every Friday, you know, halfway through the week and then on Friday, you know, so just in case there's a part two, the first part will always be Wednesday and the second part will always be on Friday when y'all come back from school, you know what I'm saying, ready to rest. So get back, or like, eat your popcorn, smack a like on the video before we get started, sub to the channel if you're new, but y'all watch my story time from like a month ago, this is long overdue, uh, the end of the story, it was actually the story time of how I got bullied. That led into my first fight, you know what I'm saying? So your boy got bullied, yada, yada, yada. Finally, you know what I'm saying? The bully tried to mess with me in front of my girlfriend. A lot of y'all probably already know that. If y'all don't know that story, you can go watch the video. Probably link will probably be in the description. I don't know. But basically, let's have, let's give y'all a little recap. Basically, your boy, you know, I was getting bullied by a little dude who was like, at the time, I was maybe like 5'1", five, 5'2". Five, 5'1". Five, I was like third grade, maybe five feet. He's like four five. 4'4", legit, tiny, bro. You, but you know them, like I said, them tiny dudes, no homo. Little short people always ran their mouth, you know what I'm saying? So we in second, third grade, he knew how to cuss up a storm. This boy just knew, he knew. He could, he knew how to talk, so that made him, I guess that was an intimidating fact, an intimidation factor that he had. So everybody, you know, they, they feared this little kid. His name was Freddie Lane. Freddie Lane, you know? Like I see, y'all can probably see the picture right there somewhere. The picture's up here. Your boy had braids. You know, your boy had braids. So that was a big factor in the fight. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. So basically, Freddie Lane, you know, I was getting bullied. It, it wasn't really, like, physical. It didn't get physical until my first fight. And it's weird. Because I my first time, he actually tried to physically abuse me. That's when my first fight. It's weird. You know what I'm saying? But he will always verbally harass me. You know, use his mouth. Shut the F up. Yada. Yada. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he was always like that. He was always like that, you know? And your boy was just like, I wasn't like scared. I was just like, dang, he got a mouth. Let me just, you know, I'm gonna just stay quiet. That's how I'm gonna do. That was what I was doing. So finally, it was field day. You know, now that we got the recap, it was field day. And this man is just sitting over here, you know, he wanted a kickball or something like that. I forget the story, but he wanted a kickball that we was using. I was using the kickball. I was playing with my girl, you know, at the time in the second grade. It wasn't really my girl, it was my crush, you know? I said girl, but I almost lied to y'all. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't my girl. It was just a girl I had a crush on. Yeah, so we were playing volleyball. And next thing you know, uh, not volleyball, we were playing kickball. It was my ball. Field day, my ball. I got out there first. I ate my food. Therefore, it's my ball. It's my ball. It's not yours. It's mine. And he, you know, little deviant, little son, devil child, he took too long to eat. He wanted to stay inside there. So he came out. He ain't had no ball. So... Who did he try to go to to get that ball from? He tried to go to your boy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let me just go say, give me that ball, you know what I'm saying? So I'm holding the ball, you know what I'm saying? I'm holding it, I'm like, we playing kickball. You know, my girl watching, you know what I'm saying? Well, not my girl, but my crush. And he like, give me the effing ball. You know, he got a mouth on him. Give me the effing, give me the mother ball. You know what I'm saying? Give me the ball. I'm like, you know, I can't, I'm not going, I'm not going, no! Not in front of my girl, but you're not about to punk me out in front of my girl like that. Heck, he know, you know what I'm saying? So you know how your boy did. And I was like, no, you know what I'm saying? I finally told him, no, you know, I'm like, no. He was like, bro, give me the F. He getting closer too. And mind you, I'm looking down at him. He getting closer. Give me the F in ball. And I'm like, no, bro, like, like, no, I'm not going. And you know, my, my girlfriend, her name was Ebony at the time. No, she wasn't my girl. I keep calling her my girlfriend, but my crush, man. And it was Ebony, you know, she's sitting there smiling. I'm standing up for myself. So this dude, like, you know what I'm saying? I can tell something about to go down. Never been to a physical altercation in my life at this point. Um, but I think this kind of snowballed a lot of things. I know that's, that's more story time down the road because this, this snowball definitely snowballed a lot of things. But finally, this dude come up to me and was just like, yo, I'm going to ask you one more time. Give me the effing ball. So I'm like, I dropped the ball. I'm like, who is he talking to? At this point, bro, I got so mad because he yelled. Just like I yelled, that's how he yelled. I'm like, I dropped the ball. I'm like, what did you say? I exactly what I said. I said, what did you say? Give me the effing. It was 
just is the some way he said it made me so mad, bro. Like it wasn't about a girl no more. It was just I was just tired of it. I'm like, this little ass, like this, this little boy, this little boy is trying me right now. You feel me, the little boy? And kids, I never condone fighting. If you have a problem, there are principals, teachers, parents who can help you. You don't ever want to risk your education getting suspended. Nothing like that. But this time, I took all that into consideration. But it's just the verbal harassment and bullying was just going on a little too long. But I don't condone any fight. You know, if you're going through a similar situation, tell your parents. You know, tell your teacher. Yada, yada, yada. But I just let it get so deep. It got a little bit too deep. So, moving on. Now, this dude, you know what I'm saying, he stepped up to me. I'm like, he, he shows me. He said, I said, who are you talking to? That's what I said. He said, you, and you know, my, my chest went back a little bit. So you know me, I'm like, you know, everybody like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm just like, so you know, I go both hands, boom, and I push shove him back. Everybody like, ooh, and then the shock in his eyes, y'all, the shock in his eyes, bro. Cause I, that's my first time actually doing something back to him. So he just like, so then, here's what I realized, I knew. Here's when I knew, man, uh, you know, it was about to go down. So they was like, Freddie, you gotta do something. He always wore this orange little coat, little, little midget, he wore this coat. So when he took that off, when he went to rush me, he ain't rush me like this, like, you know, some fighting stuff. He rushed me like this, like here. And then, like, you know, a little kid, they duck their heads, or they, you know, he just rushed me ducking his head. So once he rushed me ducking his head, he was so tiny. I just, I, you know, he rushed me, boom. He tried to tap me to the ground. I wasn't going, I'm bigger than dude. All I did was boom, boom, take a couple steps back. Obviously, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and act like, you know, oh, I just ate it, no. Obviously, I took a lot of steps back. He came at me fast, but I didn't fall to the ground. But once I held him and I had his body, I like, like no homo, I had his body like this. No, 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 this is looking a little homo, but no homo though, Like, but I had him like this, no homo. No homo. I had his head. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, y'all know how somebody tapping you, they head on the side of you, and their body's like lined up right in front of you. No homo stuff though. So basically, he's sitting there like this. He 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 grabbing me, trying to still put me to the ground. You know, he punched me. But I'm like, I got these right here. I got him and him. I got him and I'm bro. I saw his rib cake. I'm just hoos, 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 hoos. That, bro, I'm telling you, I'm throwing just, you know how you bring it back here? I was bringing haymakers, like, just hoos, like, hit this man ribs, I, I, I could, I, still to this day, I think I broke one of his ribs, I had to, just hoos, 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 like, you know how that go, I'm, so finally, you know what I'm saying, he got me, and he's still trying to swing me to the ground, so when he tried to swing me to the ground, I'm like, Time to go to the ground. So I use his momentum. We get to the ground. Mind you, I had braids. Once we get on the ground, I'm on top of him. Like, you know, my legs is like on him. Like, my legs like over him. I'm on top of him. Like, you know, in, in UFC, like when they get on top of somebody to, to, to pound on me, like my legs is over his body. No homo though. I'm not riding him or nothing. It looked like, no homo though. He has my braids. Like, y'all probably saw the picture. He's holding on to my braids with like, both his hands, and he know I can't move my head. So he just bringing my head, he's holding my braid to his chest like this while I'm on top of him, just, so I can't lift my head up. I'm trying to get him off me. He can't hit me or anything because he's holding on to my braid. I'm just trying to hit him till he get off me. You know, hit him, hit him, hit him. This man won't get off of me. Still to the day, bro, that dude won't get off, like he, he wouldn't get off me, like he wouldn't stop holding my braid. So I'm trying to pull up, but you know, my hair hurting. And you know what I'm saying? All you dudes out there know when your hair getting pulled, it hurts, bro. It hair hurts. It hurts. So I couldn't move. And then at this point, all I'm doing, I'm just going to, going to town on his face. Like, you know, but he's trying to move his head over, pull it out the way. I'm just hammer fisting that dude here. Hoosh, hoosh, hoosh. So, you know, somebody came, came to uh, get us up. Robert came to get me off of him. Robert, get me off of this man. Get me off of this man. And they holding me, right? They holding me. But I'm like, all right, bet, whatever, y'all hold me. This dude gets up. No one's holding him. No one is holding this man, bro. This dude gets up. You know, he just, he just got, he basically just got whooped, you know? So they sitting there, Jamal, 
He, he gets up like, you know, they think he's about to walk away. He's going over by his coat. Then he rushes me. She came straight at me like, cause he was like on the side of me. His coat was over there. But at first he rushed there. He walked over there to get his coat. Came right at me. Bow, right there in my jaw, bro. He hit me right in my jaw. And then the crazy part is, they're still holding me as he hits me. And then I said, oh, hell no. You know what I'm saying? So I get off of them. We back at it again, bro. And then this time, I just got this dude like, I went up from behind him and just had him like this. You know what I'm saying? I just, just choke it. I was, bro, when I tell you, I was squeezing. Everything he said to me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything, like, because I, I had so much anger for this little dude, bro. But I didn't realize I can just whoop him like this. So I'm just squeezing this dude, yabba, in his ribs. And then he covered his face up while I'm choking him. Because, so, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to hit him in the side of the face, you know, the rib. Yabba, yabba. And then, man, here's where I get mad, you know what I'm saying? After all that happened, like I said, I don't condone fighting. This is just a one-time experience. It, it's a buildup of a lot of verbal harassment. Kid. So if you have a problem, go tell your parents, tell your principal as soon as possible. This dude, Miss Parks comes out. So obviously I got him like this. So obviously I look like I'm the bad guy, you know. We get to the office and they're like, yeah, Jamel was doing this to him. This poor kid, mind you, he looks, he's a lot shorter than me. So it looks like he was the victim. But what I tried to explain to him, like, look. This dude has been verbally harassing me, doing this, doing that, yada, da, 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 da. None of the teachers believed me, because to the teachers, he was an angel. I had, they literally had to, I had, I was in there, they believed this kid for an hour. The kid told them, oh yeah, he just started a fight, I wanted a kickball, he got mad at me, pushed me. I, he playing big dude! Because he's so short, they're believing him, and I'm like, no, no, no. So they had to call all the little kids in to see what happened, and everybody, you know what I'm saying? They, they, it was a snitch. They were snitching. Yeah, we were snitching. But they told them, like, how Freddie was. Like, they, they, yeah, Freddie always yelling, cussing. And they're like, oh, my God, we didn't know. I'm sorry. But end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We was only second, third grade. Me and Freddie was sitting out there, you know, after everything was happening. We were waiting for our parents. We both got suspended for fighting. And then, you know, uh, right then and there, like, we became friends. Like, it's, like, weird. Like, when you little and get into a fight with somebody, after that, like y'all like best friends. We wasn't best friends, but like he was like, yo, you want this Hot Wheels car? I was like, yeah, I'll take the Hot Wheels car. And then after that, we were just cool with each other. But that was my first fight, man. Let me know what other story times y'all want. I got one for y'all Friday. But I got y'all, man. I would never let y'all down with them stories. But until then, shh, your boy, J-Man Flow, AKA Mr. Let's Get It, Let's Go.